the world's most advanced cold wallet for the new generation of cryptocurrency lovers. So if you are interested in buying this decent wallet, you can find a link in the description down below where you will get a 20% discount. Thank you very much and let's dig in the video. What's up XRP family? Thank you guys for joining the video for today. So let's take a look guys. We have some interesting stuff going on with XRP. XRP army is trending here guys. Very interesting. Here we have banks of Australia, Malaysia, Singapore and South Africa develop project Dunbar. R3 participates as a techno technology partner BIS, XRP, Ripple, R3, CBDC. All these things are related guys now this is a project um r3 corda has actually bought xrp like a significant amount actually they bought because they want to be ready for this project now i want to get into this first and then we will talk about consensus having um actually made a name for themselves in the interbank transfers let's take a look guys first here we have BIS Innovation Hub and Central Banks of Australia, Malaysia, Singapore and South Africa develop Project Dunbar. R3 participates as a technology partner. So R3 is excited to be a technology partner in Project Dunbar, the experimental multi-CBDC platform for international settlements. R3 sandbox for digital currencies managed and powered by Corda was utilized to develop a prototype for a shared platform that could enable international settlements using digital currencies issued by multiple central banks. This week saw the completion of the shared platform, which was a collaboration between the Bank of International Settlements, Innovation Hub, the Reserve Bank of Australia. Now, if you watched my previous video, guys, we saw that a Bank of Australia is using XRP, RippleNet, Bank of Nagara, Malaysia, the Monetary Authority of Singapore and the South African Reserve Bank. Led by Innovation Hub Singapore Centre, Project Dunbar proved that financial institutions could use CBDCs issued by participating central banks to transact directly with each other on a shared platform. This has the potential to reduce reliance on intermediaries and correspondingly the costs and time taken to cro process cross-border payments. So here you can see guys all related to RippleNet again because R3 Corda is working together with Ripple. The project's findings also affirmed that any such arrangement should be subject to the governments deemed appropriate by central bank participants, including allowing them to retain control of the application of rules. This is very important, guys, as you can do with the XRP ledger. So the details and conclusions of the project were published today in a report that supports the efforts of the G20 roadmap for enhancing cross-border payments. Very interesting, guys, because they are planning to be using ISO 222 very, very, very soon. Okay, so keep that in mind, guys. This is all related. Australia will be a major crypto hub and Ripple is assisting the Australian government to develop crypto regulation. Here we can see, guys, bring it on consensus. So consensus is actually also doing interbank transfers. Trilemma in the DLT ecosystem. So here you can see, this is a paper. I think that it's related to the R3 paper, but I'm not sure guys, I'm not sure. So here you can see use of DLTs for financial inclusion in developing countries. So here you can see interbank transfers, and then you can see Ripple and consensus. So consensus is from the start trying to fight against Ripple, to actually do what Ripple is doing. And they're trying to do more, but they're just trying to build this huge monopoly, guys. And here you can see, again, consensus. And that is why Ethereum is all related in the lawsuit and they are fighting Ripple. End of the day is just a show, guys, to delay the real stuff. We have the riddles been telling you all along. And an event will take place will which will force XRP to be implemented into our financial system. Not by choice, but because it will be needed. Do you not see what's happening? The phoenix is rising from the ashes. Very well said, guys. Enough riddles, enough everything. We can just see very, very clearly that we need some kind of solution for liquidity. And XRP is here to actually solve all these problems, guys, that these banks are now dealing with. The SWIFT system is not as good as it used to be guys it's outdated technology 
and we need to change price history on the xrp chart shows 13 dollars is just around the corner look at that guys also the charts will always tell you what you need to know now this looks very similar to this as you can see now this looks smaller but when this was not there actually this was looking exactly the same and now we have a possibility to have a 96 000 percent price increase which will skyrocket the price guys maybe even to a hundred dollars and you can see once we go we go very very fast we do not play guys we go very fast once that ship is started here we can see ripple's executive call for sanctions against sec's game gamesmanship enough of this ripple labs and the individual defendants chris larson and brett garninghouse have filed a letter supporting their motion to strike the sec's met's supplemental expert report james Fillon, a renowned attorney added the last development on twitter so also this tweet, I will show it to you guys. Ripple, Chris Larson, and Brett Gollinghouse have filed a letter in further support of their motion to strike. Here we can see Ripple loses patience and wants court to sanction SEC. Now, it's all just time, guys. Again, delaying, delaying, delaying. If you look at everything till now, you obviously know that Ripple is going to win. A continuance would reward the SEC for its gamesmanship and further prejudice prejudice defendants ripple labs and the individual defendants chris and brad larson have filed a motion to strike dr metz failed to present a complete statement of all opinions that he intended to express and the basis and reasons for them in his initial report as required by the federal rules of civil procedure since the sec failed to make necessary disclosure the party is not allowed to use that information or witness to supply evidence at a trial Unless the failure was substantially justified or is harmless, the defendants argued, adding that the plaintiff failed to prove either of those things. Ripple added that the firm will suffer significant prejudice if discovery is reopened, not only for the resources allocated, but also because of further delays to the, to the resolution of the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit. Now, what do you think will happen to the SEC once all of this is over? I think it will change dramatically, guys. I think that Ripple is going to change the whole system. Um, and I'm talking about the system that the SEC is using to actually do the lawsuits. I think it's a new era that will start when Ripple wins. So here is Ripple is expanding its tentacles into the Euro European remittance market and 70 countries through partner bank Intermax, which leverages RippleNet for cross-border remittance services. In a recent agreement, Ripple partner Intermax has moved to acquire Le National and Len Holdings Core, a remittance company serving more than 70 countries through the purchase of Len Holdings. Intermax also acquires iTransfer Global Payments, a Spain-based money transmitter that enables customers to send from Spain, Italy, Germany, and Canada. The deal is expected to close in mid-2022. Wow. Just interesting guys how everything is falling together right now this is the official letter where they actually made the motion to strike the sec's uh late filed met's supplemental expert report so we will also see a reaction still from that ripple partner intermax will acquire le national and land holdings core so here's the tweet and this is a huge one guys because this is actually europe can you see that when where they started guys it was first asia then they went to the digital pound foundation then the digital euro association and now they are actually moving from within europe it's insane to see how this develops guys because this is always this was always there it was just a matter of time banks go all in top banks like the canadian imperial bank of commerce are using xrp for payments a less talked about factor is the fact that banks are increasingly using ripple for payments and that's why the sec is still fighting they just need a little bit more of time seems to me transparency is literally being criticized here but considering xrp is not a pos protocol ripple owning so much doesn't grant it more control over the network there are approximately 120 validators on the xrp on the xrp ledger ripple runs for approximately three percent insane 
Yes, Ripple holds uh, approximately 45 billion of XRP, but it doesn't mean that they have control over the whole uh, network. It's just that they have a huge amount and we still don't know what's going to happen to that amount yet. That will be a very interesting topic. Buy the ISO 222 assets before they reach thousands of dollars. Exactly. Not financial advice, but keep an eye on them because they will move very fast and very soon. Ripple, the individual defendants who request for extension of time to file their answers it was granted in a text only order. The individual defendants answers are due no later than April 8th. So here you can see what that means. So April 8th, their answer will be in and then the two week clock starts. They can file their answers sooner than April 8th and the clock starts to run when the answers are filed. Very interesting. April is going to be interesting, guys. Buckle up because it's almost time. Thank you very much for watching the video. See you in the next one. Cheers.